I'd like to show you how you can download your Finnish Pixton comic. I can't wait to see what you guys came up with. This should be really fun. So um, here's how we're going to do this. What you may need to do is watch a little bit of this direction video, pause it, do that on your computer. Watch a little more of the direction video, pause it, do this on your computer. So feel free to go back and forth if you need to. So what you'll notice is I'm already logged into Pixton and I'm on my home page. So you're going to go up to where your name is across the top menu bar and you're going to go to where it says My Comics. Yours is either going to be in posted or in progress. It's up to where you have it. So look for the comic that you would like to download to submit. And then this gets to be a little bit tricky. Do not click edit. Do not. What we want to do is just click somewhere on the body of the comic strip. So you're going to click on your comic strip. Yours is obviously much longer than mine. So you may need to scroll down to the bottom, but mine is short. And then down here, it says these buttons to do more with this comic. So we're going to use those buttons. And what we want to do is go over to where it says download. So you're going to click the download button. When you go to download this comic, there are lots of different choices. Um, a PNG is a more stable file, so we want to use that. So we're going to click on the left-hand side where it says download a PNG with full color depth and no transparency. So we're going to download. And then what you're going to get is a file download dialog box. And we don't want to open it right now. What we want to do is save it. So you're going to save this. What you want to do is navigate to my computer. Yours may look a little different than mine. You're on newer machines. But find my computer. You're going to go to your H drive, which has your name. And then I believe we've been saving these in my pictures because it is a picture. And then what I would like you to do, please listen carefully, put the hour that you have your literacy or your language arts. So maybe you have third hour, do a space, and then a dash, it's up next to zero, and another space, type the name of your teacher. So if you have Mrs. McLean, you type McLean, or Rekruzik, or Hearst, whoever your teacher is. Do a space, another dash next to the zero, a space, and then type your name. So if I was going to do my name, I do Corey Rogers, or you'll do whatever your name is. This way, when we go to print these and put them into a book, it's a whole lot easier for us to know which classes go together and whose classroom you're in. So please do it this way. And then we click Save. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do... Let me just minimize my windows. So then what we want to do is double check that it did download and it looks right. So now I went to my computer. I'm going to find my H drive. So I'm just navigating to where I saved it. And you guys can do this. I'll go to my pictures. Okay, and then here is my comic strip. So I'm going to double click to open it. So we just want to make sure that it looks the way it's supposed to. You double check there aren't any spelling mistakes. Double check that it didn't switch two of your panels. You just want to double check that everything is all set. At this point, you should ask your literacy or your language arts teacher where they'd like you to save your finished file. Because Some of them, I think, want you to put it in their Dropbox, but they're going to give you directions for that. Good luck. You know where to find me if you need help. If this doesn't make sense to you, come down to the Media Center. Otherwise, I can't wait to see your finished comic strips. Good luck.